Lord na uh, ganito yan eh. Ang nakatagal dyan is uh, we are still looking for a way how to save the lives of everybody. Uh, pati na yung mga terorista, kung maari lang. Uh, I objected on sa I ruled out yung bombing ng moske because uh, sirain mo yan, it would mean uh, the destruction also of the, what's in the soul of a Muslim everywhere. Alam mo natin yan, but he, yung katoliko, yung simbahan, ngayon nandiyan sila, pero may kasama ang mga hostages. Hindi ko talaga ma... Wala man kung talagang 70 lang o 300 as originally uh, the, 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 the data that was given us. Uh, hindi ko malaman anong kasi pagka the first sign of entry breaching the, the defenses leading to the inside to the, to the inside uh, of the building. Baka patayin ang mga and so I could uh, hindi ko na malaman ngayon kung paano ko explain to the nation na bakit dumating ng ganito. Kasi at the end of the day akin talaga ang lahat ng bakit nangyari yan bakit na dumating pa tayo sa ganitong panahon this I have to may mahirapan ako na if it's 300 or 70 na putulan yung ulo sabay-sabay o make them a human shield pati ang sundalo niya mahirapan ipagbarilan ka tapos ang ang unang cover nila yung tao. It could be a Muslim, it could be a Christian. It does not really matter. It's alive. So, dyan tayo natagalan. And to the credit of the military, though they have suffered uh, losses, but they, okay, I could only grieve with them, but I have to calibrate everything. I cannot just, <coughs> it's not that easy. Ito yung bagong warfare ngayon, uh, as experience sa Syria, pati Iraq, sa Libya, building for building, as is natural cover, simento. Bago ito. Kaya nahirapan rin, marami akong namatay, more than 100 na, 100, uh, 300 not the almost 200 kasi nakapwesto na sila doon matagal na sila pati yung bala nila hindi maubos-ubos inexhaustible so uh, hirap talaga ako mag ano uh, but one day I, I have to decide because this cannot go on kaya lang I'm preparing everybody for the eventuality na Sige nang duko-duko diyan. Balikan na dito sa akin. Sarap pa sarili mo diyan. Ayo po naman maglapit. Wala akong maglapit oh. Para hindi ka marapat. Sir President, just to clarify, yung mga bounty for uh, our dot, sabi niyo ka hapon 5 million tapos dito 3 million. Hmm, binagdagan ko ng 1 million. So, magkano na po? Uh, 3 million siya. Yung sinabi niyo po kapon 5? Yung 5, tag 2 million. Uh. Tapos yung sa Marcos po, uh, Mr. President, uh, sinasabi po ng mga ibang political analyst hmm. na yung pronouncement niyo po na they will be returning their wealth, uh, parang you're, you're taking po yung pulso ng publiko para daw may yung mga kaso. Hindi, ganito wala. yan. Uh, the Marcoses uh, are ready mm -hmm. to return. I was, I said, I act, 
accept the explanation because there's no other explanation. I, I do not know anything. I cannot debate with them. So then I go accept the invitation. It's about time that uh, this thing is uh, finally settled. May isang ano na yung sinong titanog akong moron. Yung idioto na to, isa rin idioto, imoron to, an idiot. I did not agree on what amount and for how much and for this long. I just accepted the explanation na gusto nilang makipag-ariglo na sa gobyerno kasi dapat matapos na ito. Nidiscuss niyo po ba yun with uh, Ilocos na Governor, I mean Marcos? Uh, yes, okay. pati si, sino bang nandoon? Yung sabi nila that they offered to settle. Uh, uh, it's not immoronic to listen and to just also say, I accept your explanation because that is your explanation. Preparation daw po yung Mr. President sa pagtakbo ni Bongbong ng Bayan? Wala na akong pakialam dyan. After five years, I would no longer be a, in the political scene. Wala ko lakuha na yun. Wala man talaga siya ang evento. Uh, uh, ang balita lang man na lumabas. He never said anything. Uh, kaya yung lumabas na, na iba na ang istorya. So that's another fake news. So wala naman siyang sinabi naman. But it turned out na ganun parang sinabi niya. Ay ako naman ganito. Ay uli. Alam mo, huwag mo akong bigyan ng garbage. Kag, pag galing kay, kay Trillanes, Noon pa yan, nung eleksyon, baka na, uh, nakalimutan ninyo. Hindi pa ako presidente. Yung anak ko, pati ako, dinawit ng bilyon-bilyon. Kaya nga po, sabi ko, hanapin ninyo yan. Kung meron, inyo na. I authorize you to examine the books of all rural banks. Pati rural banks na sa hulo hanggang Batanes. Sabi ko, tapos na yan nung eleksyon. Kasi... Tapos ang eleksyon, nanalo na ako. Uh, ito naman ngayon bago, ang sabi ko sa kanila ganito, yung unang, uh, I told them the history of my son, yung uh, he eloped with a Muslim lady, tapos uh, ang, ang, ang negosyo sa pantalan, mga jar, sa mga yung buy and sell nila sa barter. So, dyan yan siya ka natuto. Kung hindi lang sa Manila, si Pulong noon pa, makikita mo talaga sa ato, he was helping his windows. 18 years old lang yung tao nung nagtanan siya sa yung si Lovely Sankola. 24 years old na. Sabi ko yan, kung yan makita ninyo sa pantalan, palaging sa pantalan talaga, yan ang natutunan niya nung uh, getting older siya, uh, married life. Yan ang, ano, ito naman kay Mans, lawyering yan. Wala ka, pareho ka namin ng doktor, pati kami mga abogado, wala kang, you cannot question that. Hanap buhay namin yung pagka-abogado. There is absolutely nothing wrong if you take in a client who is bahirap sa buhay o client mo na pinakamayaman sa mundo. We cannot question that. Even among lawyers, hindi kami mo question. And uh, by this time, to just to educate them, wala kayong makuha dyan. You cannot even ask the relationship between the lawyer and the client. That's one. A confessor and a priest. That's another one. A husband and a wife during the marriage. In the, may nalaman sila sa, sa isa't isa, mga sugrito. Hindi mo pwede yan. Yung doktor, hindi mo pwede tanungin yung pasente at ang pwede. Pasyente, hindi, hindi mo mapilit sabihin niya anong, anong sinabi ng doktor at anong sinabi ng pasyente. Eh kasi walang alam sa batas eh. Wala kang makuha dyan. Lawyering. Yan yung si Mansi. 
At sabi niya, uh, uh, kanila daw ang claim to yan. Sabi ko, go ahead. Pero sabihin mo na nakare niya kasi San Inlo po siya. Alam naman niya. Ang offer nila noon was 3 billion. Hindi, hindi namin tinanggap. Iba yung kailam ha. Baka ito laruin na naman ninyo ng... Iba yung kailam. 3 billion. Sabi ko, sa muli ito. And the so many thousands of taxes that uh, you evaded by using a fake stamp. Yun, yan. So, hindi ako nakikialam sa trabaho ng abogado. Hindi ako nakikialam sa buhay nila. Paano sila mabuhay? Basta yung abogado, pati klinte, kanilang, kanila yan. And you cannot uh, summon them in the Senate or in the courts, even sa court, hindi ka pwedeng magtanong. Because bawal talaga yan sa rules of evidence. And you can ask any lawyer. Hindi na ako nag-offer because I should not be offering information. Why should I? Ngayon, kung sinabi nila na kinuha yung office, that office is Belio, Bebot. Nagpa-practice yan sila. Eh. Even before I became, uh, many years ago yan, si Lucas, yung tatay ni Mans, pati si Mans pag-abogado niya, it was the law firm handling the case. And you cannot infer anything uh, there unfavorable kung kunin nila yung kachamba sila ng malaking kliente. Pag magsabi sa uh, boss, attorney, tulungan mo ako sa kaso ko. Meron akong reserve ng pera para pambayad sa iyo. Kaligaya na lang abogado niya. On what ground? Ano? <laughs> I, I, would, I would not want to talk about it. It's, the case is already in court. Uh, Mr. President, uh, House Speaker... House Speaker... Ang, ang, ang problema pa rin sila ni Alihano. They file cases without really knowing the law. Yung kay Trillanes naman, A, B, C, sinabi ni B na si C daw ang, ang nagsabi sa kanya. Well, that's not evidence. Yung pasa-pasa. Ah, sinabi ni ano na yun daw siya. Ang, but they persist because either, either they're uh, dedicated to their ignorance or Ito si Nugrales, political ISIS. All that they have to do. Wala man siyang talent. Cannot go even... Uh, he, does, uh, he does not even know between a Democrat and a member of a party. How oh, can you expect? Kasi kulang. Actually, kulang yung nalaman niya sa buhay. But you have to forgive him. Well, hindi niya alam ang ginagawa nila eh. But uh, yung inaway niya si Gordon, ganon, insisting on something which is not, which cannot be done illegal, uh, legally. Uh, that's in, uh, uh, sa conduct nila, it's a unruly behavior. And he can always be punished for that and even ousted from the Senate. Uh, Ipipilit mo yung illegal na, hindi naman talaga pwedeng gawin. Ah, no, no. So, uh, di naman kailangan yan because actually, ano lang yan yung magka, magkalaban kami sa politika. Uh, but, uh, eventually, sinuportahan niya ako kasi it was uh, to the best interest of Davao. Na yung congressman, pati yung mayor, ito makbo ako ng presidente. Eh, suportado yun. Pero yung, yung balik ako kay Trillanes, I, I, ako instead of uh, pati yung nagtawag sa akin ng murong <laughs> alam mo, these are the guys who really do not know anything in life except to just to kunwari to be hot head 
I, I, I never said that uh, malak, malaki pa yan. Kung totoo yan, if the, there's really sincerity in everybody's heart, we have to start with Congress. You know, Congress must authorize. Then uh, it should be, be the Central Bank of the Philippines and the Secretary of Finance. Maybe. Ang kayang mahilap kasi nito, knee-jerk, yung mag-react pa kunwari na ano, wala namang alam. If President cannot it, it has to be the law. And the law must come from Congress, not from me. I cannot say with finality na ito, ito ang mangyari because there will be so many stages yan. If it's an arbitration, kasi ariglo, it would go undergo an arbitration. Kung, kung totoo talaga. But Congress must authorize because that is money to be recovered by the government of the Philippines. And that was the offer. That was the rationale of uh, the governor when he offered. I accepted na the explanation na gusto na namin na matapos na. E dumating itong isa, tinawag ako murong, putang ina mukhang pera talaga pala to. Narinig lang niya na may ariglo na, nagwala na. Uh, so I cannot help uh, you guys. It's not that easy. Just because I was listening and I accepted her explanation na kung bakit gusto na niya, it's high time that these things are rejected. If the government decides to pursue prosecution or anything, that's, uh, that, would, that, that realm would belong to the Secretary of Justice. Maybe there would be a compromise. Kung wala, then you proceed. But then if you proceed, bakit hanggang ngayon, itong si Karansa, hambog ng hambog, bakit mayroon pa palang isinauli? So anong ginawa ninyo? Kaya tinitingnan ko yung, yung PCGG. Hindi lang yan. Just because you recovered a few millions, then sabihin mo na magtrabaho na kayo. Kulang ang trabaho ninyo. Eh bakit hindi nyo nakita ito ngayon ino-offer nga ni, I mean, uh, ibigay. She is not ready to announce na ninakaw yung pera. But this is yung pinagdudahan, pag-usapan. That I accepted. But uh, when the proceeding should uh, begin, we should start with Congress. Well, it's the people who will decide it through the representatives. And the representatives, they are called representatives because they represent the people. Because we should be deciding our own fate. But since not all the people can be accommodated in one building, you only send representatives. They are called a congressman representative. Marami pa kasing Akala ko kasi itong mga uh, edukado na pretending to know. Hindi ganun yung when I say that I accepted the ano, Unlo Imuruti. Idioto ka pala eh. You must be... So from a moron to an idiot, I'm telling you, you're an idiot. You, because you pretend to just blurt out anything without using your the gray matters between your ears, and that is your brain. Wala ka dyan. Yung masaban IQ, I think, of uh, the normal is, I think, 64. Ang IQ niya siguro mga 6 lang, 7. Bubugaw ka ng bubuga ng ano, calling people by name. Hindi mo naman inisip na wala kang pinag-aralan pala. Sir, can you expound more on the, uh, sir, yung spillover, sir, sa Bulldog, Maguindanao, sir? Ah, meron dito. So, yun, to ease the pressure, mayroon ng skirmishes every day. And, uh, I don't know how this thing will develop, but I'm watching. Anyway, I have to, until the end of the year to, to contain all of these things. But, kung, I would like to report to you officially that, we will be pursuing the 
uh, yung MI pati MMNF mga peace talks. Uh, sabi ko na nga sa buong bayan, ako na yung presidente na sasabi sa inyo, if we cannot reconfigure a political uh, structure to suit everybody's needs and fulfill their demands because it is really valid, Mindanao will be at war for all time. And I hope it will not, with the coming of the ISIS, just like itong si, si Trillanes, yung political ISIS. Eh. Walang alam, basta gusto, biralan ng biral. Akara niya, tama siya. Ang, ang, ang nakakatawa dyan, kasi when he talks, it is as if talagang alam niya ang batas. Sino ang patawagin mo? Ako, ang advice ko kay Pulong, Punta ka doon. And then pagdating mo to question, sabihin mo lang, no, I will not answer you. I'm invoking my right of silence kasi noong election pa, hindi pa presidente tatay ko, binabira muna kami. So, if you want evidence, uh, Mr. Trireling, do not get it from the mouth of other people. Go somewhere else. Do not, yung, yung tinitira mo, gusto mo ring ipitin, hindi ka abogado, hindi ka marunong yan. Ang isagot sa iyo, I will refuse to answer your question because it will intend to incriminate me. Why? Because sa uh, election pa lang, binibira mo na ako. You have already assumed that I am guilty. So what's the point in answering you? So you might as well invoke the right to silence. Di pareho sila ni Paildono, magtingina na lang kayo dyan. You cannot punish a person or take any inference yang magsabi exhibit uh, uh, silence is go, uh, means consent when a person invokes a constitutional right you cannot infer anything from that perfectly all right and you cannot force a person to testify wag mong gamitin yang uh, contempt contempt Hindi yan, pagkasi hindi. Ang tao, pwedeng hindi talaga. So, kayong mga next batch na ako na, kay Trillanes na, Supina. Yeah, you know. All you have to do is to send a letter. We are not answering your questions. I will not submit to a, an investigation. For what? You are on a fishing expedition. Kaya kung may gusto kang malaman, huwag mong kunin sa bunga nga ako. Gago ka pala. Hindi maghanap ako siya sa amahanapin kung totoo talaga yan. So that is all there is to it. So why bother uh, asking a lawyer and asking a plain citizen or a vice mayor for that matter na in mo na na sila publicly yun ang behind double group. Sino ba may gusto mag mag magsagot sa iyo? Pwede sabihin ko lang the right to remain silent is really golden. So, anong, for what purpose? For harassment. Ikaw pong harassment, huwag mo nalang sabihin mo sa taya, ang problema niyan, the processes of the Senate has been degraded. Parang it looks cheap now. Ako ang padala mo ng sabihin, sabihin ko, shit. What's your purpose? To investigate? Kayong, kayong tatawagin nga all you have to do is say, no, we will not answer you. I will not answer you. I will invoke the right to remain silent. Period. So, yan, manirig na ninyo yan, malaman na ninyo, kasi sinong kriminal ko niya ang sagot, na litse na yung, na chipin yung, wala na kayong makuha. After this, my advice to all, if you are called to the Senate, do not obey it. Cite it, contempt ka, then you go to court. And you will say, I have the right to remain silent. I may go there. But that, that's... Huwag kayong sumagot. Sabihin lang ninyo, eh, baka makulong kami. Baka malay ko nagpabricate ka dyan ng affidavit na naman. Tapos ipitin mo ako, pailan mo ako ng kaso. So you, you tend to incriminate me. Instead na wala, hindi ako kriminal, gawain mo akong kriminal, eh, kalukuhan yan. First of all, you are famous for fabricating 
and they say there's a crime of subordination of perjury. When you ask people to execute an affidavit, which is a lie, ganun yan. Kaya maniwala kayo kasi ako abogado at ako ang presidente ninyo. Ako ang legal advisor ninyo. Hayaan mo yan si yung mga do not be afraid yung contempt contempt ni Trillanes. Pumunta kayo. Tignan, tignan mo siya sa muka tapos sabihin mo, what do you want from me? Answer? About what? Ah, yung uh, marami yan. Uh, droga. Basta yan ang sagutin ninyo. Wala na yung magawa ang Senado. And that is why dapat hindi ko sabihin that but as a lawyer, I suppose I can advise citizens of this republic that we are, we are cited uh, to, to appear in, in, in the Senate. You may want to appear to avoid itong mga aristo aristo contempt. But sabihin lang ninyo, when the question starts uh, pouring in, I will not answer you. Not because uh, your charges are true or not, but malay ko, your questions are crafted to suit an affidavit which you Magawa ka ng apidabit ng isang Juan de la Cruz, tapos isuot mo, tapos i-question mo, pilitin mo yung tao. Answer! Uh, you cannot do that. That is my advice to the people of the Philippines. Ngayon, huwag kayo matakot yung contempt, contempt sa sinig. Wala yan. At kayo kung tinatawag, maghingi kayo ng tulong sa akin as president, magtutulong ako. I was in lawyer, so I just say that... I represent the person cited to appear, and uh, my answer to him is, shut up. Tapos. So, henceforth, wala na tuloy makuha ang Senado. I say because you have cheapened the image of the Senate as an oppressor. Na hindi naman lahat. Ganun yan. Huwag kayong matakot yan, ganun na wala yan. Siya ang dapat managot kasi yung nag-mute ni, sabi ka ni, Gur ni Gurdon. Patapang-tapangan, ngayon mo na ipakita yung tapang mo, bakit hindi mo tinuloy? Sinampal ka lang ni Barayas, nag-iya ka pa, nag-surrender ka. Ang nakuha mo sa yung mute ni, yung mga plato, pati kutsara ng, pati yung mga kumot ng ubos. Dinala ninyo. Peninsula Hotel, hindi mo pa nabayaran yung damage. And here you are, nung marcha-marcha, kala mo sino, hindi naman eh, si Bonifacio, hindi naman mukhang Ginaldo. Mukha, do not so be, kaya mga critics, eh, nagsabi na muronik ako, yung ikaw ang idiot, and I would say, your IQ is about four or five. Hindi mo alam na the president cannot on his own negotiate with the... It has to be Congress. Congress must pass a law, then provide the steps of how to recover. Then after that, uh, may appoint ka. Kung bigyan ako ng power, wala. Kung sabihin nilang, uh, di, 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 di. sigurado ako Central Bank, Secretary of Finance. BIR, yun na yun. So, huwag kayong mga sa doon pabilib niya. Si Aliano, ano, pabilib lang. Gusto niya tanggapin po lo her. Si, kaya siya minura ni Perinia. Ika, e, nagpapaabogado ka. Wala kang alam. E, bakit ka pa nagmilitari? Di, nagkukuha ka na sana ng law dyan sa ayawang ko kung papasa ka sa entrance exam. Ikaw bakit na sige layo sa akin? Sige ako palapit eh, parang gano'ng marinig. Kayo mga nakinig kayo, ah, it's actually in private na eh. Maro pa rin ako sa darap. Hindi pa pala ito sa ilo. Ito yun na ito. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ano pa ang misgivings ninyo about that? Basta nagbigay ka ng advice kay Paolo.
Wala, hindi kami nakita. Ayun niya akong kausapin, matagal na yan. Sensei, yung matagal na. At saka hindi ako magbigay ng advice. Alam niya yan, kung nakinig siya, may idea na siya kung anong gawin niya. Gusto niya pumunta siya doon. Pero ang problema, magkahiyaan. Sabi niya ka lang, bakit si Sumon mo ako? Where's your evidence? Bakit mo ako pinatawag? Diyan sa newspaper na grupo ng Ayan, Davao Group. Ito lang ang ebidensya mo. Tapos patawagin mo ako, gagastos pa ako ng eroplano para lang makinig nitong isang uh, terrorizing the people. Kaya I'm, I'm forced to, to tell, uh, to give you the advice. But one day, but the media, you might be cited. Uh, kung tingin mo na sa alang, uh, I will not. You can go to court if you want. Look, I've been explaining to you. The ISIS are being, the ISIS is being cornered into the coastal uh, towns of uh, Algeria. Natutulak na sila, Syria. Once they lose mass base, wala na sila mapunta. Papatayin talaga sila. Alam mo na, uh, Arabo, they'll be executed. Sisibat na yan. And then because they have access in uh, some countries, Bigyan na lang sisipot ko kaya nung sa marami ako. I don't know how fast but uh, I, I have to talk to the President of Widodo. We have agreed that we will talk, the three of us, si Najib sa Malaysia. Kung naghintay lang kami ng timing. Uh, if, it, if it can be near uh, the Philippines or Sabah might be a good avenue, or uh, or Jakarta, but it would be a long haul, actually. Uh, in probability, it's a joint, ano yan? in all probability, it will be a joint uh, parang task force. And uh, I will open my borders to the Malaysian authorities and the Indonesian authorities and I am I would be given an access kung may hinahabol kami tapos sabihin mo lang at, uh, wala ng panahon tirahin mo na lang dyan uh, even if it's a Filipino sabihin mo doon sa Indonesia na tirahin mo na or Indonesian dito they'll give you the, uh, banatan mo I have yet to but they're doing it already but to formalize an agreement, I, we have uh, to meet uh, face to face and uh, agree on an agenda for the talks. But I said I can only maybe be there for about a day or two. Uh, uh, at this time, I cannot. I, I, I do not have the luxury of time because I have a serious problem here. And I have to. I've been to Marawi several times. I intend to go there hanggang matapos ko. Uh, it has cost us a lot in terms of money. Uh, marami akong sundalo na patay. Pati police. Ang sa drug war, the other day, I said every day I lose a policeman or a military man connected with violence, connected with the drug. The other day I lost three. Anong rik- ang lahat na lahat na sa I'm sorry lahat na sa basta they would be most active in uh, uh, Muslim states Yo no. Lana no, no, sige ikaw ikaw ma'am sagutin na lang kita Wala nga sinong sasagot sa hikanat. Sabi ko sa kanya, if it comes to lawyering, hindi siya pwede magtanong. Bawal yan. 
Uh, it bawal because uh, as here, pitong ka kaya ng bautista. What's the use of proceeding against him when the wife cannot testify on the matters that she is... Because it's not allowed. Sabihin na sa court, nah, eh, then, uh, sabihin mo na lang na I do not want to answer your question because it may tend to incriminate me. You have been at it since uh, time immemorial, long before hard evidence. Uh, alam mo si Trillanes, kung may hard evidence, matagal na yan, magsigasigaw. Pag sinabi ng hard evidence, nagaano yan, saywar, eh, hindi naman ito yung kalaban mo sa gira, ha? abogado ito ay buang. <laughs> Huwag kang magpaano-ano dyan, pamaro. Huwag kang higit, ikumpunot mo. Sabihin ng tao, mapas kayo yung abogado. At po tayo, kasi si Sen sinali niya yung lawyering ng San Inlogo. Sabihin niya, oh, tinuro mo nang kami, kaya may pala ang Davao Group, o, sa bakit ba ako sasagot? Oh, pag sabi ako, ito ba yung ebidensya mo? Iwan ko, saan mo nakuha yan? That's garbage. Sabi ko nga, ang mahirap kay Trillanes is, sabihin mo, wala ka kasing alam. Pinipilit mo ang mundo na umi umikot doon sa tinuturo mo, direction mo. Eh, hindi ganun ang mundo. Huwag kang mag-superstar sa publiko kasi itong mga kaharap mo, hindi itong mga bubo. Pati si Aliano. Kaya ang impeachment, impeach yan, puro hearsay. Uh, ibig ko sabihin, i-impeach mo ako, patawag mo ako with that garbage. Uh, di sabihin, maglilil, maglilecture ako ng... Kaya naglilecture ako, maglilecture ako doon sa puro abogado ng mga congressman, pati senador.